Hi hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Jason, I'm the owner of Fireball Tool, and we're gonna have some fun today. I get to reveal the products I've been working on for the past year. If you guys missed Fabtech 2018 in Atlanta, this is your opportunity to see what you missed at the show. So let's get right into it. This is my favorite tool so far to date, and I've taken probably about two years to develop this uh, simple adjustable square. What you can see is that it comes in aluminum and cast iron, but one of the awesome features that just blows my mind is you actually get two squares to make one square. As you can see, you get two individual squares that you can use for any project or setup that you like, and they're fixed 90 machine squares. Like all my squares, I want to provide some weld accessibility, so if there was a, a vertical plate, you can get in here with your welder or TIG torch, and or step it over and have more opportunity to do the same thing or roll it over and have a fixed zero to six inches flat plate to work with, okay? Or then adjust with the toolless handle any angle you want all the way from zero flat. And you, can, you can set it to zero and then you can stand it up and have a four by 12 inch square, which is pretty unique. Let's just say we set this at 45 degrees. This is, would be 135, this over here is 45. So you can choose which side, you have your obtuse and you have your acute angle all in one, which is pretty special. So take it like we're holding on the acute side of, the, of this piece of tube steel here that needs to be welded. Well, maybe there's an obstruction over here or whatnot. You can just simply move it. It's the same angle as what you set before and you can move it to this side and it's the 135 side of, of that same angle, okay? Or if you were thinking ahead and maybe you wanted a little more room in there, you could also set up that angle to be something like this. Maybe it's a smaller part or a longer part, then you need a wider footprint, a little more sta stability. You could sit and use these two sides, okay? And like I said, you could also move this over. That's the same angle from here same angle, haven't adjusted anything as it is over here, okay? So now you have even more room in there to square off of. Now, if we were to separate these parts together with the square, as you can see, I've included a V-block, so you can set parts up together like this and have two V-blocks for round or square. Maybe you wanna put angle iron in because you need to hold angle iron up or down. Whatever you'd like to do, there's V-block. I've included this little hole right here. I know it seems so simple, but what we can end up doing is combining the squares on a different offset. So we can take the pivot pin out. Like this, okay. And what we end up with is instead of offset 90. So let's say you had a, a lot of production to do and it's, this, it's a weird angle. You could fixture this part of the square down to the table and it stays clamped permanently. And now this side is hinged. You set it at the angle you want or you're desired. You have two different options. You can roll it this way. You can roll it over here. You can roll it over there. You can roll it over here. By having this 90 degree corner here is a huge benefit. You can pull your material quickly in and out for easily welding, mass producing, uh, the same joint over and over and over again, which is kind of handy. Or you can stand it up on this side and have a little more room or a little more clearance. They're just kind of, I'm trying to pack as much uh, value into these little guys as possible. Or like before, you can just use them as they are by individuals. Rotate it over like this. Maybe have an offset of, of material sticking on top of each other that you can use to square up the material this way. The options are just almost crazy. If you wanna poke more holes into these surface, you're more than welcome to do that too. Just like the other squares, we've got a tabs and a equipped with tapped holes to be able to put some uh, second reference surfaces on there, just like that. So now we basically recreated like a little V-block. Because a, a lot of you guys have suggested putting V-blocks in the face. And this kind of does the same thing. This, that's a V, so now you can index everything right into the corners and hold true to each other. So um, there's holes on both sides. So you got holes there and there. As you can see, you could put a hole, whatever you want to do. 
You can choose which side you want to put the tab on, which is a nice feature. The handle, of course, like I said, we have a toolless adjustability here. The handle is a metal handle, so it's going to hold up. It's not going to snap off. It's not going to be, it's not plastic for it to melt. And you can adjust it any way you want. So if you want it out of the way, you just pick up, you just pick up on it and you just rotate it out of the way. Or if it is in the way for some reason, you could just unthread it and put a socket head cap screw or just a normal bolt in there if you want for, for whatever job you're working with. And it doesn't, it doesn't jiggle around. It just stays where it needs to out of the way. The beauty about this style clamp with the slot in here is, man, you can really put the pressure on. I like to put it over here next to the thing and just squeeze the living daylights out of it. And you're not going to stand. I've stood on these corners before and it doesn't move. It's really, really, really strong. And of course, that's not even with the center bolt locked into place. So you can rest assured it's going to hold your angle. And then, of course, you can loosen it by hand again. So it's pretty sweet. If you were to want a 90 degree corner to set this back to 90, the distance between the bottom of this square to the surface here is four inches or two inches from here to the surface. So that gives me anything four inches tall, a piece of tube steel, uh, a plate, whatever you want to do, you can just set it on something four inches tall, which this is, and lock it into place and that is exactly back to 90 degrees. So it's actually more accurate than a scale is to set your, your 90 back and forth. So this leads me into the next product that uh, has really helped me around the shop. And these are these precision uh, shims. So these are ground precision blocks, much like one, two, three blocks. These have provided me from chasing around the shop, making shims or a bucket full of uh, scrap that I'm always digging into. And these are all dimensioned by different thicknesses from 3 sixteenths, quarter inch, 3 eighths, half, one inch, and two inches. And the special thing about them is they have these magnets on one side so that you can actually make different height blocks of any size dimensionally. So, and they're just strong enough to hold themselves together so they're not gonna be pinching your fingers in any way. They come apart really easily and any grinding dust, they wipe off pretty simply or they blow out an air gun. I wanted to develop something that was just easy to use and I could just drag the kit over to where I'm working and set up my spacing and offsets and then put them back in the box so they can always be found again and off they go. I've been also using these on the milling machine. They're accurate to, for setups over there too. So they're just, I call them shop shims for that exact reason. They're just general purpose shop shims to be used anywhere that you deem necessary. I don't know how many times I've ran around the shop looking for something five and a quarter inches. Well, if you want something five and a quarter inches tall to hold a part up, whatever it is, well, I know that this is, that's four, that's five, and you want a quarter, done deal. There's five and a quarter inches exactly. I didn't have to go to the bandsaw and cut something with. If you're a machinist, you guys have probably already seen these. These are one, two, three blocks. Uh, these are also great for even fabricating. Uh, they're just one inches wide, two inches thick, three inches tall. So this was what I've always envisioned having to uh, be a great companion for these. So now that they're the same dimensions, I can get three and a quarter inches just like that with the existing one, two, three blocks that you might already own. And then you can move them and set them around and not uh, they're not gonna slide off. It'll really help with your setups around the shop. So I get asked a lot what happens if you get weld spat or weld BB, that you somehow destroy them, someone's misplaced one. Well, you can buy individual in packs of four. It's real easy if you want more two inch or any of the sizes in here, you can order those sizes independently from the, from the kit and we'll send those to you. The hardness is a 50 Rockwell, so they're pretty hard. They're all precision ground on six sides. It is a very true and precision block, so you can use any reference surface that you want. But we'll use them here for this example that I know this is exactly four inches, so I can put it under here on the square. I can loosen it up. I can just drop it down 
and loosen the handle. And that is, you're probably not gonna ever get this any closer to 90. That is so accurate right now. Or roll it over to the small side and use the two inch or anything two inches. And as you can see, it's two inches tall there too. I'm gonna show you how well the square and the shims work together. So let's just pretend I wanna weld this piece of tube steel perpendicular to this tube. What you can do is you can just set the tabs up any orientation you want to really accommodate for what you're gonna do. What's cool about the tabs is that you can clamp to the tab itself. And now if I push, push the material in here like this, obviously it's gonna match perfect to the edge, but let's just say the, the call out on the drawing said it needs to be in the center. Well, I know this is a two inch tube and this is one inches wide. I can use a half inch spacer, just click it on there. I'm not even laying out on the tube. And now it's perfectly centered in the center of the tube. And you can clamp to the tab if you want, something like that. And now I know I'm a half inch on each side of that. It's perfectly spaced, I didn't lay anything out. It's just basically ready to weld. And you, this is the beauty of this square. Do you see all this room over here? Is that I can literally weld all the way around this thing. Put your shims down on the table, your tube steel, however you like. So now I know that I'm a quarter inch, spaced off the table, pretty, pretty universal. If you already own the current mini squares, this is an awesome accessory to be able to equip yourself with for whatever comes down the line. It is the same height and width, so it'll fit right in with what you already have. Thank you guys for joining me on this quick little demo. Be sure to check out firebelltool.com for both these two products, the Magic Square and the Shop Shims. There's gonna be a link in the description below. It'll take you right to the website, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.